Allora, ben trovati, grazie per essere qui. Innanzitutto questo rappresenta l'occasione per ritrovarsi ad ascoltare pure musica a Roma. Perché mondi, insomma, mancava la possibilità di avere impianti di alto profilo qui a Roma che non fossero magari nelle mostre, cioè avere un minimo di stabilità con prodotti di qualità. E velocissimamente sappiate che questo impianto, così come allestito e anche credo per quanto riguarda la parte video multicanale, sarà a disposizione per diversi giorni. Quindi questi assaggi di questa occasione così simpatica, ma devono essere semplicemente come dire, un invito eventualmente ad un approfondimento prendendo contatti col, eh, con lo staff di Rubini, Paolo, i ragazzi per un'eventuale visita più come dire, personalizzata e approfondita. L'impianto eh, è questo qui che vedete, nel senso che stiamo gestendo per una questione di velocità di, 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 nel cambiare tra un brano e l'altro, la musica è contenuta su una pennetta che viene letta dalla Urender, viene come dire convertita da, da, da DCS, questo è Rossini, che però ha anche la possibilità di leggere direttamente. Oggi pomeriggio ci sarà anche una parte analogica, se siete da queste parti, alle 17, vero? L'ora del tè, Titano. Esatto, quindi per l'ora del tè c'è cioè il valzer del testine condotto dal collega di, di Audio Review, Marco Benedetti. I diffusori sono magico della serie cadetta, cioè la versione più grande della serie A, la se e questa è la 5, nella sua versione, in questa livrea argentea molto carina, di là c'è una serie A di magico al completo per quanto riguarda la sala cinema, che in realtà è una sala da musica, come dire, con vocazione cinematografica, preferisco dire così, ma ognuno ci trova, diciamo, la parte più... Il clou della giornata è ed è anche la novità, in un certo senso, la presentazione che poi stiamo seguendo per, anche da un punto di vista di una in, in futura recensione, è l'amplificatore integrato d'Agostino, serie Momentum, è particolarmente denso di contenuti, ma perché sprecare fiato io quando abbiamo Daniel D'Agostino in persona, che forse può dire molto di più su alcuni tratti diciamo, costruttivi e progettuali di questo sistema. Dan, if you don't mind saying a few words about your to. beautiful new integrated amplifier. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Traduci te o... Beh, ma io penso... In inglese ormai lo sanno tutti. Eh? <laughs> Se qualcuno ha bisogno di una traduzione, sia io che lui, ma lui è sei in casa, quindi... No, you can know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying that we can't translate in, in, in Italian, but they... I forgot. Yeah, right, right. So, uh, the, the um, Momentum Integrated Amplifier is uh, something that we've been trying to make the right way for many years. Our first product was a Momentum Amplifier back in... Uh, Oh, 2013. And um, then we made a preamp, and then we wanted to make an integrated amplifier, which we did. But the, all of the tools that are necessary to make an integrated amplifier were not available. So we did not do as good a job on it as we would have liked to. But we still did good with the unit. But now, with the new streaming technologies, and new phono technologies and new electronics that we just designed, we made what I consider the perfect integrated amplifier. So if you get this with the streamer, deck, and phono stage all in one box, all perfectly matched together. Now, a few years ago, we made a preamp called the Momentum Preamp, and then we made an improvement called the HD. That was a huge change from how I designed preamp circuits, and it made a big difference in the sound. So then I said, well, now we need to look at the momentum amplifier. And then I had this idea that I would steal some technology from the relentless amplifier, which is our big amplifier. And I did do this. And then when I put them together, the momentum MXV is an amazing sounding amplifier. So then when we made the integrated, we took the preamp, the HD, and the MXV, and we put them in one box. Imagine, though, that those two components are now part of each other. 
they are connected differently than they would be connected if you had a preamp and an external amplifier. So there are some advantages by doing an integrated with this circuitry unit. It was not easy to put everything inside. So, but when we did it, we got something that I consider to be an exemplary product. So when you buy an audio system, when you bought your first audio system, and you got what I call the bug for music, and you're listening, and then you say, well, you go into a store like this, and somebody plays something for you. Oh, I think this sounds better than mine. I'd like to try it. So what do you do? You go home, you buy it, you put on all your old records or CDs or whatever you're listening to, and you're listening for a difference that made it better. What is the difference? More information. And that's what these components are built on, more information. And as I get older, and I've been doing this for over 40 years, I want information. That's my goal. So if you go from the progression amplifier to the momentum amplifier to the relentless amplifier, it's all about levels of how much information you get. And I'm pushing and still looking to get more. But for me, when I do this, I do the same thing you do. When I design something, I run home, I put it on my system, and I listen for information. So sometimes it takes me two days to go through all of my things that I've been listening to. I have stuff that I listened to back in 1970, and I still have those, and I play them. And sometimes I am, like, amazed. Was that really there? It was. It was really in there, but I didn't ever hear it before. So those things make me excited. But this component is exactly that. It's two things that are put together that retrieve information so much. And one of the reasons is the noise floor is extremely quiet, very, very quiet, almost at the limits of what you can do with electronics. At least in, we have very sophisticated test equipment. And this is just almost as quiet as the test equipment. So. That makes a big difference in what you hear when you play music. It's the micro detail, the stuff way down low that comes up and attracts you to hear it. It gives you goosebumps, it makes you wake up, oh, and you hear it. And that's, uh, that's what we're working at. And this product does this, I promise you. If you were to bring it home and listen, you will hear this. Yeah. So anyhow, Marco will play some great music. And then we will uh, we can talk. You can ask me questions at the end, whatever. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.